I... I don't feel like talking. You look very worried. True. My grandmother, she's... Is she in pain? No. Many youngsters would envy Granny's health. She's changed, and dread fills my heart. Perhaps I can help. Granny will speak to me only to warn me away from the cellar. I'll visit her and find out what I can. My help will cost 50 orins. I'm not wealthy, but Shani spoke of your kindness. Where does your granny live? The crossroads near where the peddlers stand. Farewell. Is that... Is that cranky old granny that's, uh... getting on me? Where did Sally next to the junction? Here, okay. Look lively. Who are you? I out now. Well, oh, that'll be fifty orans. I out. I have to come back at night. Hmm. Where could I meditate? Derp, derp, derp. I think Vivaldi has a house over here. Let me use. Somebody, let me crash at your pad for a few minutes. Door mm. shields. Where's this? My map show where campfires are. Charlie's house. Some fence. Grave digger. Camp sweet. There's a campfire over there. And this city sewer. Get the dike. The trade quarter. Yeah. So this is kind of the silly aspect of the um, the day-night system that we have to run all the way back to the opposite end of town in order to change things back to night, so that I can go back all the way to the opposite side of town and complete a quest. In this scenario, I think the Ocarina of Time model worked a little bit better, where you can just play uh, something on your Ocarina and bam, army boys. You don't mind me setting your faces on fire here? I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Yeah, but why doesn't it let me cast my AP spell? Go away, guys. I can't meditate with a fire out. Seems I have to light it first. Why doesn't let me switch, switch my spells? Whatever, I'll go inside and do it in the end like I'm supposed to. 